Welcome to Calculating Derivatives, Trigonometric Functions. This is part of the Calculus Made Easy series, Part 2, by Calculus Guru. Today we're going to talk about the derivatives of the trigonometric functions. Before we begin, we'll do a quick algebra review to discuss what each trigonometric function is and a few properties of each that'll help us when we're finding the derivatives. Then we'll go on to actually show how the derivatives are calculated and explain each one. And then once we understand that, we'll go on to solve a few example problems. All right, let's take a look at our brief algebra review. So we all know that sine and cosine are the base trigonometric functions, as we've seen in our unit circle from pre-calculus. So remember that secant is simply 1 over cosine, and cosecant is 1 over sine. And so these are called the inverse trigonometric functions, since they're just the inverse of sine and cosine. I always remember that since we're inverting, the cosine has a co, while the secant does not have a co. And the same goes for sine and cosecant. So remember that when we invert, we add a co. Also remember that tangent of x is sine over cosine. Now remember this because typically we think of y over x. We see that a lot. So in the slope of a line, we see change in y over change in x, derivative dy dx, and here as well. Traditionally, tangent is the more common function. And in our unit circle, sine is represented by the y-axis, while cosine is represented by the x-axis. And so I remember that typically we have y over x, so tangent equals sine over cosine. 